Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am going to be showing you how I organise my sticky notes, my notepads, my planner accessories in this, um, I guess, small bin. Um, I've had this for quite a while and it kind of very quickly became a kind of dumping ground for all of my cloth and paper accessories and then more recently for my pocket sized inserts. So I wanted to go through this with you guys today. I want to kind of declutter it a little bit because there's sort of no organization. It's just all a bit of a mess. But yeah, um, this actually sits in my planner cart, which is just there. That's the empty space for it, which I have just right next to my desk. I've also got sort of supplies for my um, Etsy store, which is currently still closed. I am working on it reopening and you guys will be the first to know when I do. But yeah, if you are interested in how I will declutter and reorganize this, please keep on watching. So as I mentioned, um, I have got so many different things in here. I have um, inserts for the pocket size planner. I have got sticky notes. I have got more sticky notes. I have got notepads, um, page flags, which I honestly never really use. I also have a ton of these... Um, journaling cards from cloth and paper as well and it's not all cloth and paper but that's the majority of stuff um and then i also have a few other bits like these tabs um all of my ollie clip um packaging so some of them are actually in there some of them are just uh it's just the packaging and they're all conveniently stuck together because they are magnets um so that's helpful um but yeah i just i want to kind of reorganize this a bit more because i do use sticky notes i love them i i use them within my planners i use them when i don't i need to quickly reference something i love notepads for when i'm in meetings and i'm working from home and i don't want to necessarily use a page in my planner and i just need some notes for then and there you can also obviously stick those into your planner with like washi tape or even just stickers so that's helpful I think the best way to tackle this is really to go by sections. So I think we'll start with the um, planner inserts and we'll just go from there. And I'm just going to move the camera so it's a bit easier for you to see. Right, so welcome to the Hot Mess Express. <laughs> this is just a whole thing. Um, I literally just popped all of my pocket size inserts into this bin just because it was just easy to do. Um, I will be moving into a pocket size planner this year. So it's really convenient that I've actually got everything here um, so that I can figure out what I want to use and what I want to get rid of if I'm not using it. The first thing that I see is this, which um, my lovely friend Kerry from Modern Paper Co made and sent to me. I'll just open it up. So there is this, which just has my last name, I'm just covering it, um, which is just a piece of, I don't know, is this vellum? acetate one of the two one of them's acetate one of them's vellum and there's this gorgeous like louis vuitton print on the back so there's two sheets i'm definitely going to be using that in my planner um and then i also have this really gorgeous um what is this like a journaling card that says don't rush your growth it's a natural process and then she popped in a few other bits so this is uh the list of sizes of planners which i think is really useful and then she's also popped in this, which to be honest with you, I don't think I can make use of anymore because it's for 2021, but still so cute. And it's the bank holidays. I believe she's coming out with similar stuff for this year. So I will link her socials down below. And then she's popped in this routines uh, dashboard and then just a piece of paper underneath so that you can pop your routines. So yeah, I really love those. And I'm definitely going to be keeping them. Obviously, I can't use the bank holidays one, but the rest, I am definitely going to be popping those into... Um, this year's planner so i'm glad i've got a few dashboards and bits that i can fill that up with already so those are a keep then i've got this dashboard that says tough times never last but tough people do i do like it but i'm just not sure it's the vibe that i want so i'm going to pop this into like my maybe pile um and then we've got this one which is just like a marble kind of design i'm into marble as you can tell so i'll definitely be keeping that this one, which says bravery, is just some definition of bravery, I think, or some text on bravery. Cute, but not really my vibe, so I think I'll be getting rid of that one. Uh, and this dashboard just says fortitude. Fortitude comes from the Latin word fortis, meaning strong. Um, it's now particularly used to describe the strength of the mind. I guess I quite like this. This is a keep. Um, what else have we got? I kind of want to do the dashboards first and then all of the inserts after if you couldn't already tell this is probably going to be quite a long video so what i will do is i will have um 
a few sections down below where you can actually see at what time stamp um, I'm organising what. So a few more dashboards, not really a fan of that one. All of these, by the way, are cloth and paper unless I otherwise state. Uh, Self-cultivation, I'll keep that. Resilience, I'll keep that one. I guess I like that one. Um, I'll keep that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one as well. Probably going to get rid of that one and that one. <laughs> this one too. Um, not really feeling that one either. Nope. Quite like that. And then I quite like this one. So we've got our yeses and noes, and I'm just keeping piles back here so I know what I'll be passing on selling or gifting. Then we've got the actual inserts. Now these are a mix of cloth and paper and infinite lotus. Now this is just, I believe these are the dated inserts for July. I can't use them unfortunately because they're for 2021. Um, so I'll probably, let me see what they look like. So you can always redate them, which is quite good. Let me see what they look like. Oh, yeah, so they're like this. I guess you could. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to keep these. I'm not going to really waste my time with that because I do have undated dailies, which um, I would much prefer. So they will, I'll be getting rid of those. Um, this is a home refresh and renovation supply list to do. I guess they're cute. I'll keep those. This is another one of those data dailies for August. So I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, cleaning inventory, keep that. This is cleaning and chores. I will definitely keep that. Um, what is this? Task delegation. I mean, I don't know how much of this I'll use, but still I'll keep. Um, then we've got the Infinite Lotus ones, which I specifically ordered these. So these are all going to be a keep. Um, I've got the list. I've got the wish list. Order tracker, which we always need. And then this one is just a standard to do um, lists keeping all of those and then i've got a page lifter which i believe again is from infinite lotus and then we've got the cloth and paper um dividers which i hope you can properly see they're just clear so i'll need to fill those in with um the different areas so they're all keep so okay we've got like a good list of what we're keeping and what we're not um like i said my pocket planner so my pocket planner if you don't already know is the planner that i'll be keeping with me um, when I leave the house so it will be coming with me when I work in the office which should, should be two to three days a week um, it will also be coming with me when I'm out on the weekends um, and it's kind of just my catch-all place for everything and anything when I'm not at home I must admit though I do also use my iPhone calendar which I love but I'm a sucker for writing things down too so I'll be utilizing both of those Okay, so I just sped over that because I was trying to figure out what I wanted and what I didn't want. I didn't want this video to be too boring, but I'm kind of just getting rid of the um, journaling cards that just either aren't really my colour scheme or the quotes are less relevant to me. So this is my list of the ones that I'm getting rid of and they are all from cloth and paper. I absolutely love cloth and paper because you do get a lot of things in the sub boxes, but I just end up with so much stuff. Um so yeah i mean these are the ones that i'm keeping this is actually from modern paper co kerry shop who um is also one of my friends and this is just like her little business card that she used to give with orders so i'm definitely keeping that and this is from my other friend jade um misquoted plans i can never get the camera right sorry guys <laughs> um so yeah that's really cute and there's a little thing on the back i have actually got like um little cards like this for my shop that I just have not ordered yet I literally designed them I think a year and a half ago and they've been sat in my basket and I've just not ordered them so that's something I need to do but yeah intention just be in the moment this is a little quote um a fresh new start is a new place it's a new mindset this is like a really cool inbox zero um little thing just pause if you want to read it that's quite nice. I definitely want to implement more of an inbox zero um, strategy this year. Normality is a paved road. It is comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow. The future is, is always beginning now, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, these are quite cute. Um, I don't know how I'll use them in my planner just yet, but I guess it will be quite nice to switch them up every month. And it might be quite nice if I actually run through with you guys what I'm switching my... Um, 
little sort of front pages of my planner too every month so yeah i'm definitely going to keep these this is from where is this from i think this is from infinite lotus actually you get this just as a freebie um and then i do have these um which are just the like graph paper they're like quite a thick card not sure what i'll use them for yet but it might be quite nice if i want like a tracker or something and then we have got these am and pm routine checklists which i kind of want to pop um those into the front of my planner too with some kind of routine for my am and pm um and then i've got this which just says authenticity which i quite like so i'll be keeping that um and then i'm also going to get rid of these I, I think i mentioned in a few other videos i don't really utilize these so they'll probably just be thrown away but i know that people do repurpose these cards so let me know if you guys have any um tips for what you use these for um i know that some people get acetone and remove the writing off and then use them as like washi cards or to cut washi i don't really use much washi in my planner but yeah let me know what you use these for these i don't think i'll be using just because they're for um july and august of the year that's just gone so yeah this is my keep pile right now we're on to tabs now i purchased these myself um from amazon absolutely love them i haven't used them obviously just yet but i think i can definitely make use of those so i will be keeping those they're also repositionable now you do get quite a few page flags in the cloth and paper subscription boxes and if i haven't mentioned already most of the accessories and bits that i've got in this box are from the cloth and paper subscription box i have bought a few things myself now i have i'm quite good at de-stashing the accessories and stuff that i don't want as i get them in um but i kind of got these was like oh yeah i like them and then just haven't used them ever since like none of these have been used um these are the court is it cortado i think this is cortado that's the name of the page flag color this is like a transparent um like a dark is it like a blacky brown color or even like a, a gray i don't know it's it's a dark color essentially i'm probably not going to use those i don't typically tend to use dark colors in my um planner so i think i'll definitely be getting rid of those um these are the arrow sticky notes i think i can actually make use of these i think these might be quite good when i'm trying to plan um things that are not necessarily set in stone and i can kind of just write a plan there put the date on it and then pop it into my monthly view so i'll be keeping those for sure and then we've actually got the page flags now um the espresso ones again i don't think i'm going to use those quartz i'm not 100 percent sure but i think i'm going to pop them into my maybe pile i'm not sure if i if i like that color or not and then these three i believe maybe one or two of them i ordered so i'm not 100 percent sure but um i quite like the cashmere so i'll be keeping those for sure and then um the Prospe prosecco square flags i think i'm gonna pass just because i don't know i think they're kind of big for what i would want to use them for so i'm gonna pop those in at my pass file um, and then the dusk ones, I think I'll also keep because they're pink and that is my favourite colour. I do have like a random like little set of the um, stickers from Cloth and Paper, which I actually do similar stickers in my shop. So I have a ton of them, but I think it's always nice to just have these and they're like a small size. So um, they might be quite nice to keep in my pocket planner. So I think I'm going to keep those. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they've kind of gone a bit discoloured. Um, I don't remember what colour they initially were, but they look like they're a bit more dull i don't know if it's just me but yeah regardless they're in like a pinky light color so i'll definitely be keeping those right on to the ollie clips now i do have quite a few ollie clips um and not all of them are here some of them are in my planners um now ollie clip is an interesting one because i have found that the consistency of their quality is is hit and miss like you don't always get great quality um this is the i think this is a snow leopard one which i actually really like i don't think i've even opened this one because this is a double of what i've already got i do already have this in my work planner so i will keep that just because i think um like i said i, I know that i like this this pattern i think it, this one particularly is quite good quality so that's definitely in the keep pile then this one is the what color is this I don't know what colour this is, um, but I do have this on one of my other planners. So that's definitely, I'll keep the box just in case. Um, and that was the cloth and paper and Ollie clip um, 
collaboration which they don't now don't do i don't know what the tea is with that i've been seeing some stuff online saying that um ollie clip didn't hold their end of the bargain in terms of like um i don't know like the whole brand deal that they had i don't know but i think that cloth and paper are coming out with their own version so stay tuned for that now these two um what i got from the ollie clip uh etsy store directly and i was really disappointed with them they actually gave me a refund for them because they came like really poor quality i don't even know if i can show you on the camera but i don't know if you can see it's really hard to see hang on but they came to me like chipped and they just looked really used it's really hard to see on the camera it's probably not probably doesn't look like anything but i don't know if you can see that it's literally chipped so i messaged them like why has it come like this and even around the edges i don't know can you guys see? yeah you guys can see there that's literally how it arrived to me and i was like these look dreadful and they're not cheap um when you factor in like shipping to the uk um, but I think I did actually get them shipped from the US. This also is very poor quality. It feels like like literally material. There's no plastic casing like this one. Um, so yeah, it also came with like scratches on it. So I just really was not happy and I'm not, okay, so I was about to say I'm not one to complain, but I am, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I spend my money, I want it to be good quality. Obviously I, I do run an Etsy store as well. So for me, if someone isn't happy with the quality of my items, I would expect them to message me and I can resolve it um, accordingly. So yeah, I was just really unhappy with that. Um, so I did message them. I could sell them, but I don't know. The quality is very poor. Um, I might put them up on, on Facebook and see if anyone wants them and obviously just outline the fact that they aren't the best quality. It might be nice for someone who wants to get an Ollie clip, but doesn't know if they'll if they'll necessarily like it so it's a good i guess trial piece so those two i think i'm going to put in the past pile and then lastly we have this one which i've never even opened um again i don't remember the name of this i'm probably the worst you guys are probably screaming at me telling me the name of it but this was another collaboration and this is like the light pink one um if i can get it out this is very cute this is a bit of me this is definitely going to get kept and i don't like the cloth and paper and ollie clip um logo so i always just do it like that so this is very cute i might actually keep this one for my pocket planner and use that in there although i do have some of the mini ollie clips like the smaller ones um that i think might be better suited in that planner just because it is a smaller planner but yeah that is definitely a keep right on to notepads now i love notepads i don't know why but i just love them <laughs> um i have a couple of these actually which um this one as you can see i've like nearly finished well i don't say nearly it's pretty used um, and i have one in my desk that i use as well which is lined um do i have another version yeah i have this one which i've used to literally death there's barely any pages left that's in my desk so that stays permanently in my desk um, but this one is from cloth and paper i do use it to be completely honest when i want to just jot stuff down so that will be a keep um i've got this one which is aligned again keep this one which says memo it's a very cute color but to be completely honest i prefer just plain white so i think i'm gonna actually get rid of this one i have so many of these notepads that i just i don't want to keep stuff that i'm not 100 percent on so that one i'll be getting rid of also um the lined one which like i said love so i'll be keeping that i'm in two minds on whether or not i want this graph one i mean i do like it but i'm not in love with it so that's going to be in the maybe pile then i've got this one um which was from fox and pip which i've nearly also finished as well um i quite like this one because it has like the tab on the edge and it's just literally sticky and it's meant to be like the louis vuitton print i'll be keeping this one also and then last but not least this is just the today's agenda you've got priorities tasks and notes absolutely love this um i think i'm gonna also keep this um just as an extension to my daily pages in my planner i think this will be really good for work uh, so yeah, this is definitely a keep. All right, now onto the bulk of why we are here, the sticky notes. Now I do have this uh, little box here, which houses them all. I kind of want to take the sticker off because it's sort of ugly. This is from the brand Wham and they sell it in my like local, um, I don't know, what would you call it? It's like 
and everything in one store like a discount store um it's not like a pound shop or a dollar store but it's a discount store and they have like a post office in there and they just have everything that you would need um so they sell like a ton of these like every single color that you would need and want um every single size and i have quite a few to organize my etsy stock so love these this is a really good size for sticky notes and it holds them up really well so i'm just going to take them out of this box and like i said as you can see i have way too many so we'll put those aside for the minute i've got like the singular ones now this is from the planner spot um i'm nearly finished this to be honest but i just don't use them i don't really like the black part at the bottom it limits how much you can write so that will probably be a pass and i'll probably sell that for like 10 20p on facebook honestly because i'm just not going to make use of that then i've got this one which says do i quite like this again i've only got a few pages because i use quite a bit of that so i'll keep that um this is actually <laughs> uh something that i was gonna sell in my shop and it's just marble sticky notes but they're not the best quality so i decided not to but um there's only a few left so i'll keep those um and aim to use those up quite quickly then i've just got some random accessories this is a pen loop from fancy plans that you would stick into your planner um and just have as a pen loop i don't know if i'm gonna necessarily use this so i'll probably get rid of those um as with these paper clips i don't know how i feel about paper clips i want to love them because they're so cute but I just find that they dent my pages. I don't know if it's just me. Like, do you guys have any tips to try and avoid things denting? Tell, let me know. Because I just seem to always, like, dent and ruin my pages with sticky notes. With paper clips. Um, and then I have these, I think they're individual cards. I might be wrong. Yeah, they are. From Fancy Plans. Again, this is from one of the sub boxes. I'm not going to use that. So that can be sold too. And then I've got these transparent sticky notes. Um, and they just look like that. This is from Cloth and Paper. I got this. I think i actually bought this one so i'm gonna keep that um then we have the tabbed ones the transparent and matte ones love those we'll be keeping that to be honest with you guys i think i'm gonna keep most of this <laughs> i just can't with sticky notes i've got an obsession i actually really love these i don't know if i'm gonna use them but i love them and i don't want to get rid of them this is not if you're looking for a video to help you be motivated to get rid of stuff this is not the video because i love stuff and i don't want to I don't enable her let's just put it like that so yeah keep um then we've just got a lot of these sticky notes and as you can tell two dusks um i have quite a few that are doubles so um the dusk ones i love i'm going to keep those same with the crew and i think i actually ordered these myself linen and nude going to keep those because again i ordered them i actually like them um now the circle ones let's talk through these because these ones i didn't order they were actually in the sub box so we've got quite a few different colors here we have got the neptune ones and these are not transparent these are just normal um not really my color so i think i'm going to get rid of that one we've got dirty chai um which i like but i don't love so i think we're going to get rid of that one um, linen, I quite like how, how muted and nude this is, so we'll keep that one as well. Um, the Prosecco Transparent, I think I'm going to get rid of that, just because I do find transparent quite hard to write on. Um, do I want to keep them? You know what? I am going to put them in a maybe pile, because maybe they might come in useful, because they are transparent. And then Bubble Bath, we're going to keep <laughs> Then I just have two of the duo sets, which I actually do think these are cute, so I'm going to keep them. I think they're quite nice, um, a nice size. They're not as big as the other ones, so we'll keep both of those. And then there's these that came in the set. To be honest, I will not use the graph, so that can go. And then we've got the dot grid and the lined. Um, I think we'll keep the dot grid. I think I'm going to get rid of the line just because I'm not a big fan of the white lines i think they're harder to see i think it would be a lot better if they were like like black or i don't know just a darker color so we're going to get rid of those as well and there we have it this is way less cluttered it's just stuff that i want um i've popped all of the page flags just here um now this bin actually held the one inside actually houses all of my sticky notes before there was overflow onto the side and it's just it was just not clear as to where my sticky notes were 
I've got my notepads on this side, so I've only got a few there. Um, all of my pocket size inserts are just here, along with my Ollie clips, that random like sticker sheet. And then I've also neatly tucked away just here, I can show you, um, all of the um, planner cards. So I've just popped them in to two different like plastic cases, one for like the smaller size and one for the larger size. So when I do want to switch out um, my planner cards each month, I know where they are and they're all in one place. Um, as I obviously set up my pocket size planner, this will definitely decrease because I'll actually be using um, the inserts. I just remembered I also have ordered some inserts, which, well, they've arrived now. Um, so instead of just popping them in here, I will just pop them into the planner, which you guys will see because I'll be doing a setup video. But yeah, I like this now because it's way easier to see what I'm looking for. I can find everything um, just at a glance. I can pop it back into my planner caddy. Um, and yeah, it's just way less cluttered and hopefully I can sell a few of the bits that I no longer use and pass it on to somebody that will use them and love them. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming along to this like random declutter video with me. Um, it has been quite long, so I hope that you've had a hot drink and some snacks to keep you company. What are you decluttering this year? What is like your thing, your planner thing that you love to keep? Mine is definitely sticky notes. Um, Safe to say, I don't need to buy any sticky notes again for a very long time. Um, like I said, the Clock and Paper Planner subscription was a great way for me to collect this and build a collection. But when you're getting a, a box every single month with like so much stuff in it, it can be overwhelming. So I think it's good to just go through your, your collection and, and declutter every so often. So yeah, thank you so much for watching today uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.